Okay, uh, now I'm going to be doing a tutorial on something, it's more, it's more of a concept than a move. Um, it's going to be one on linear extensions, which this is a linear extension. As you notice in one of my past videos, I teach this wall plane flower, and if you notice, when my hands go from here to here, it's a linear extension. Um, like I said, a linear extension is just more of a concept than a um, move. Um, you can throw them into a lot of moves, and you can do you get good enough at them, you can just put them anywhere you want and make them real beautiful. But um, uh, just a linear extension is pretty much, like I said, it's this, and how am I going to explain this? Um, basically, you're moving the poi, your hand, just in a line, like so, just up and down. Now, it's not going to make a perfect straight line because the tug of the poi is pulling on your hand, so it kind of makes a little bit of an ellipse, but really you should just be trying to move your hand in a straight line, up and down. So, yeah. Um, like I said, you can throw them into a lot of moves. One of them, the most com one of the more common ones is this, right there. It's a linear extension, or you can just two, do two different linear extensions, like that, and it makes this big ellipse pattern. Um, there's a lot more technical things uh, you can do with this um, uh, that I'm not too good at, like you can do them in butterflies, like so, and then do them at a diagonal. Then up and down, back to the side to side, and just play with them that way. Um, just something to play with. Um, and yeah, let's start with doing it with a butterfly, okay? Learning linear extensions. So start doing like a butterfly. And when your poi, you know you feel that tug when the poi go up, you know your hands kind of go up with it and they go down. You know, you, that force kind of pulls your hands that way. So when the force of the poi is pulling your hands up, just move them up. And when the force, force of the poi is going down, then move your hand back down in a straight line. And then you'll come up with this big ellipse. And then, uh, after you get kind of used to that, try doing them diagonally, like that. It's the line going diagonally in a butterfly. Okay. And then when you get used to doing that, try doing them split time back and forth this way horizontally. So, um, so that's kind of a cool move to do because then you can start linking all those together, doing them vertically, to diagonally, horizontally, back to diagonally, and so forth. And you just kind of throw it your point that way. So uh, that's linear extensions and play with them. Have fun.